Children disclose in a variety of ways. They may tell about abuse happening to them or describe something they say is happening to a friend. They may talk about it like a story or a make-believe situation. When a child discloses sexual abuse, there is an appropriate way to respond. A thoughtful and calm response from adults is essential in these situations. The adult's response can have a profound impact on a child's ability to recover from sexual abuse. Be careful with what you say and how you respond. Children often take everything literally. Listen. Do not overreact. Avoid displays of shock or disgust. Do not punish or scold the child. Be supportive. Let the child know they did the right thing by telling you what happened. Let the child know that you will be telling someone who can help them. Do not promise confidentiality or secrecy. It is important to be truthful with the child and keep reminding them how brave it is to come forward and speak up. An essential element of hearing a disclosure from a child is limiting questions. A child should be questioned to obtain only enough information for the initial report. All other questions should be left to professionals and appropriate state child protection authorities. Experiencing a disclosure from a child or a discovery of suspected abuse involves three action items. First, make sure the child is safe and protected from further abuse. Second, stop the perpetrator from abusing this or any other child. Third, assist the child and the family with professional services and the support needed to repair the harm and assist with healing. Another trigger for reporting suspected abuse comes when a third party tells you about the abuse. If that person is unwilling to make the report, for whatever reason, you must make the call. It may also be important for you to help them understand the importance of communicating the information to the appropriate authority. Protecting children and preventing abuse must be our first priority in every situation, even when the potential abuser is someone we know and trust. Remember that developing and nurturing trust is part of a perpetrator's grooming process. Keeping silent protects the potential abuser prolongs the abuse, and increases the harm to the child and community. Communicating your concerns also addresses the need for adults to speak up if the behavior of an adult who is interacting with children raises concerns but does not appear to be abusive. Call attention to the inappropriateness of the behavior either by talking directly to the person involved and or speaking to the person's supervisor. There is a distinction between communicating about risky behavior versus reporting an actual suspicion of abuse. If at any point you have a suspicion of abuse based on the behavior of the child or the adult, then you would need to report to the appropriate child protection authorities in your state.